you could call it a tank in the air. It's armed, agile and dangerous and its thick hide allows it to go into harm's way. I think I'm proud Indian to have a helicopter produced by our country of this capability. I think it's a very proud moment for Indian Air Force and the nation. The IF's Russian-built Mi-35 attack helicopters are too heavy to fly in the mountains and this gap was exposed during Kargil. India tried to improvise by arming transport helicopters but suffered a setback when one was shot down. We have Mi-35 in our country, but unfortunately we could not use the Mi-35 when we required it in Kargil at high altitude. This aircraft is fundamentally designed for our requirements at higher altitude. The new gunship will be able to operate in the world's highest battlefields. It can fire missiles at heights up to 21,000 feet. The attack helicopter fits into India's new cold start doctrine for inflicting quick punishment on an enemy and give its troops the edge in the mountains where future wars are most likely to be fought. A major worry with India's gunship in the making is that it's over 20 percent overweight. Now this could restrict its capability to carry a full payload of weapons in the high mountains. Well, these are the pitfalls. Developing a gunship is no easy task. The famed Sikorsky, for instance, failed with the Comanche. But at the moment, India is riding high on optimism with this gunship and it's ready to gate crash into an exclusive club of Europe's tiger in China's super secret Zulu 10. From the cockpit of India's latest mean fighting machine.